The Kraft Food Company presents Harold Perry as the Great Gildersleeve. Uh... <laughs> For everybody who loves mellow melt in the mouth cheddar cheese, we have a piece of great news. It's about Kraft's natural cheddar called K Brand. K Brand is for folks who really get a thrill out of superb quality cheddar cheese. Remember the name K Brand Natural Cheddar. And listen for more about this masterpiece in cheese making a little later on in the program. <laughs> Quiet in the Gildersleeve household on this December evening. The family has just finished dinner, and the great man is in his den resting his overstuffed figure in his overstuffed chair. His eyes are closing drowsily, when suddenly he sits up with a start. He's made a great discovery. Say, Christmas is coming, and I haven't done my shopping yet. Well, by George, I'm not going to wait till the last minute this year. I'm going to do my shopping early. Tomorrow. Leroy! Marjorie! What's the matter, Auntie? You got indigestion again? Shall I get the baking soda? No, no, I feel fine. Then what's the matter? Children, Christmas is coming. Huh? Everybody knows that. Well, anyhow, I've decided to do my shopping early this year, tomorrow. You call this early? I started in November. Well, I... Oh, for corn's sake, Uncle, didn't you get my model airplane yet? Leroy, nobody said you were getting a model airplane, for sure. That's up to Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Are you kidding? No, my boy. You mustn't scoff at things like that. As long as we have the spirit of Christmas, there'll always be a Santa Claus. You said it, Unc. Remember that. Sure. Uh, Unc. Yes, my boy? Santa Claus better get off the dime and get that model airplane before they're all gone. Leroy. Well, if that's all you wanted, I've got to finish addressing my Christmas card. I'm going shopping tomorrow. Better make out a list. That's the efficient thing to do. Let's see now. Where's a pencil? I'll need some... Pi- Leroy, you may leave the room. Want me to help you make out your list, Unc? That won't be necessary. Oh, it's no trouble. Glad to do it. No, thank you. Well, uh, maybe you could put down the airplane first. It starts with A. <laughs> Leroy, I don't They want... got some swell ones down at Hogan Brothers Department Store with gas motors. I've been down there trying them out all week. You know the kind I mean, huh, Unc? Leroy, leave the room. Okay, Unc, anything you say. But uh, don't forget, the one with the gas motor. <laughs> Glad Christmas only comes once a year. Well, it is kind of nice of that. Well, I'll start my list with Judge Hooker. Let's see, got to get the judge something nice. I don't know, though. The old cheapskate never gets me much. <laughs> judge Hooker. One necktie, one dollar. <laughs> there, that takes care of him. Now I'll write down for Marjorie. Hmm. If I were a girl of 16, what would I want? Let's see. Funny, all I can think of is cigars. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, I didn't know you were busy. Excuse me. All right, Bertie, what is it? Just got one cup of coffee left, and I thought I'd see if you wanted it before I dump it out. Yeah, no thanks, Bertie. Too busy making out my Christmas list. Oh. Yep, doing my shopping tomorrow. You ought to do the same, Bertie. Don't put it off till the last minute. Oh, you don't have to tell me, Mr. Gillsleeve. I did all my shopping six weeks ago. Oh. Got all my presents wrapped, sealed, and ready to deliver. I'm through. Uh, I see. Yes, sir. I ain't no put it off. I'm going to do it now. I'm through. Uh, yes, yes, Bertie. Some people put things off, but not Bertie. I'm going to do it now. Bertie, I didn't see Yes, it. sir. I ain't no put it off. <laughs> Please forget I mentioned it. You can wait till the last moment if you want to, but not me. I'm through. I'm going to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Let's see here now. Birdie, handbag, Leroy, model airplane, Marjorie. Well, got the whole afternoon ahead of me. Got my list all made out. Nothing to it. I don't see why everybody makes such a fuss about Christmas shopping. Well, look at that Hogan Brothers window. Santa's workshop. 
<laughs> Pretty cute, all right. All those little fellows busy making toys. Wonder how they get them to move like that. Yeah. Oh, after you, madam. Oh, pretty crowded in here. I guess everybody's doing their Christmas shopping early. Uh, Christmas carols over the loudspeaker. Oh, that's nice. I wonder where I should start first. Let's see. Where's my list? Huh? Floor walker, where's the notions department? Why, well, I, I don't know. You see, I... Oh, Christmas help. They never know anything. Floor walker. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I should have worn my hat. <laughs> well, let's see. I'll look for Bertie's present first. Hi, Unc. Leroy. Well, I see you got here all right. The toy department's on the fourth floor. Elevator's right over there. I know that, Leroy. I'd get right up there, Unc, before those model airplanes are all gone. Come on, I'll go with you. Leroy, I didn't say I was going to get you a model airplane. Oh, Unc. Well, we'll see. Now run along. Go home and play with Piggy or something. Oh, Piggy's down here, too. We're playing tag on the escalator. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> see you later, Unc. And don't forget, the one with the gas motor. That kid. Never lets me surprise him. Well, <laughs> guess I'll go up and get him that model airplane now. Hey, there's the handbag table. Might as well get Bertie's... Oh, too many women around here. I'll come back later. <laughs> Take your life in your hands. Uh, there's the necktie counter. No crowd over there. Good time to get Hooker's necktie. Let's see. Where are the cheap ones? Mm. Down here. They look pretty awful. Well, they're good enough for the judge. I'll get him this one with the peppermint stripes. Make him look like a walking barber pole. <laughs> well, hello, Gildy. Oh, Hooker. <laughs> kind of a spendthrift, aren't you, Gildy? Buying a dollar tie? Well, uh, Christmas gift, I presume. Who's the unlucky person? Mm, well... He'd have to be an awful fathead to wear a tie like that. He is. <laughs> It'd look good on you, Gildy. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you liked it, Judge. <laughs> Wait a minute, Peggy. There's my uncle. Hey, young. Leroy. Oh, Leroy. Hello. Uncle, what are you doing down here? Didn't you go see about my model airplane yet? Leroy, I told you. Yeah, they're going to be all gone. If you don't go away and quit bothering me, Leroy, I won't get you anything. Oh, okay, I'll forget I mentioned this. Call me kid and see you later. Geldy, uh, uh, aren't you going to get the boy his airplane? Of course I am, but I don't want him to know it. Well, why didn't you go out and get it now? I'll go with you. Well, all right, Judge. I believe it's on the fourth floor. Toyland. I know. Toyland, Toyland. What? Dear little girl and boy. Land. Oh, brother. Come on, Judge. <laughs> you know, Judge, being up here takes me back to my own childhood. I used to love Christmas. Yes, Gildy. I think I see the model airplanes right over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at these toy soldiers. I used to have a set of these when I was a kid. Fought some big battles on our kitchen floor. Well, you're not a kid anymore, Gildy. Hey, that electric train's a beauty. Look. We're going to go over that bridge. Just like a real one. Gildy, we're up here to buy something for Leroy. Watch this, Jack. I'll throw the switch and make her go through the tunnel. You see it? There she goes. Clear the tracks. Here comes the Cannonball Express. Toot, 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 toot. Gildy, why don't you grow up? Look at it, Judge. This is... Now look what you did, Gildy. It jumped the track. I know it. Hurry up, Leo Horace. Help me put it back. Can I help you two children? <laughs> uh, sorry, a train went off the track. I'll put it back. Don't bother. I'll put it back. Butterfingers. I was looking for something for Leroy. That's my little nephew. A model airplane. Model airplane. Just follow me. Oh, Mr. Gildersleeve and Judge Hooker. Ooh, Mrs. Dalrymple. Why, good afternoon. Gentlemen, are you coming? Uh, in just a minute, clerk. I never expected to find you two up here in Toyland. Now, isn't that cute? <laughs> Well, uh, the judge came up, too. Oh, you men, you never grow up. You're all big, lovable boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I've been shopping all day, and I'm simply exhausted. Oh, you poor thing. Why, that's a shame. Oh, it's all right. Buying Christmas presents is really lots of fun. And I don't mind carrying all these heavy packages. Could I carry them for you, Mrs. Dalrymple? No, let me carry them. Oh, I wouldn't want to put you gentlemen to any trouble. Oh, it's no trouble. I would deem it a pleasure. Step out of the way, Judge. I'm stronger than you are. I'll carry them, Gilded. I'll carry them. You're too old. You're too fat. <laughs> I'll Indian wrestle you for it. Well, then, uh, how about flipping a coin? Coward. Fatty face. Oh. <laughs> now, please don't quarrel over me. I know. We'll decide it this way. Whoever my finger points to last. My mother told me to take this one. Uh, uh, it's you, Mr. Gildersleeve. Shucks. <laughs> I get to carry the packages. <laughs> Here, let me take them. All righty. <laughs> they are a little heavy. Gilder. What? What about Leroy's airplane? Mm, well, I'll be back in a minute, Judge. Shall I take these downstairs for you, Mrs. Dalrymple? Uh, yes, thank you. Oh, I just remembered... I would like to get one more thing. You would? Yes, I forgot to get a salad bowl for Cousin Effie. They're up on the sixth floor. They are. You don't mind, do you, Mr. Gildersleeve? No, I don't mind. <laughs> I'll just put this salad bowl under your arm. Oh, is that my arm? <laughs> there. Is that all righty? Uh, fine. Well... <laughs> I guess we're ready to go. Yes. Oh, well, Mr. Gildersleeve, I just thought of something else. What's that? I didn't get a birdcage for George. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Must get a birdcage. They're down on the third floor. You don't mind, do you? No, I don't mind. <laughs> this birdcage can go on top of the other bundles. There. Are you comfy under there, Mr. Gildersleeve? Yes, very comfy, but I can't see. Well, that's all right. You just follow me. <laughs> oh, I just remembered something else. It's up on the seventh floor. Up on the... <laughs> Zook. Well, now I'm finished. So am I. <laughs> Isn't Christmas shopping fun? Uh, Mrs. Dalrymple, can I take these packages out to your car now? Oh, uh, didn't I tell you? I don't have my car. Uh, I was hoping that you'd drive me home. Well, I wanted to. Oh, thank you. But... I think you're just peachy. But... Hi, Unc. Leroy. Gee, I didn't recognize you behind all those packages. Lucky I saw your stomach sticking out. Yes. <laughs> Gosh, did you buy all that stuff already? Well, I... I'll bet my model airplane's in there, huh? Leroy, I... Gee, you're swell. I'm the best uncle a fella ever had. Leroy, these aren't my packages. They're Mrs. Dalrymple's. What? You see, I started... And a... you're not going to get my model airplane? Leroy, I didn't have... <laughs> Leroy, please. You don't have to get it. I don't care. Leroy. <laughs> Leroy, don't cry, Leroy. Come on away from me. Christmas. Around Christmas, everyone likes to have plenty of special food treats on hand for gala family snacks and for friends who come a-calling. And that's where Kraft's latest triumph, K-Brand Natural Cheese, is going to come in mighty handy. You see, K-Brand, that's K-A-Y, K-Brand is a natural cheddar cheese, and it's made from pasteurized milk. Yes, here's a good old cheddar with that beloved mellow flavor, that tender melt-in-your-mouth texture, yet it's made from milk that's carefully pasteurized. Say, K-Brand does sound like a special treat. It is. Just serve this natural cheddar to a real cheese expert and watch his face light up at the first taste. K-Brand natural cheese is pretty special in the way it's cured, too. Every big 10-pound bar is aged right in its own transparent wrapper. And it's still in that same sparkling clean wrapper when your dealer gets it. There's no cheesecloth or paraffin coating, no rind at all. Then every bit of K-Brand is usable? Every mellow good inch of it. Tomorrow when you shop, look for the big wrapped bar with the words K-Brand natural marked down the top and sides. Have your dealer cut you some slices, a thick portion, or a wedge. 
Then serve K-Brand in sandwiches with pie on your cheese tray. It's mighty good eating, folks. Remember, K-Brand natural cheese is made from pasteurized milk. Well, the best laid plans of mice and men and the great Gildersleeve often go astray. We find him now, foot-sore and weary, returning to Hogan Brothers' department store. He makes a slight detour. Well, hello, Commissioner. Oh, uh, hello, Floyd. Well, it'll be this afternoon, Shave. Yeah, no thanks, Floyd. Haven't got time. Just want to rest for a minute. Sure. Sit right down over there and take a load off your feet. Thanks. Uh, uh, uh. What's the matter, Commissioner? You look all in. I am, Floyd. I've been Christmas shopping. Oh, that's kind of hot on the arches, all right. I got a wash tub out in back if you want to soak your feet. Yeah. <laughs> no thanks, Floyd. Got to get back to Hogan Brothers. Ain't you done shopping yet? I haven't really started yet. I had a few interruptions. Well, you got my sympathy, Commish. I wouldn't go into that pack of howling females for love or money. It's got to be done, Floyd. You go Christmas shopping for your wife, don't you? Not anymore, I don't. Not since that time I went shopping in Hogan Brothers on Christmas Eve. Why? What happened? Well, I got caught in a mob around the glove counter. Took me two hours to squeeze up to where I could buy a pair. And when I reached out for my change, some dame bit me on the hand. <laughs> I can show you the scar. Yeah, don't bother, Floyd. Well, so Lovey and me don't give each other presents anymore. When Christmas morning comes, we just slap each other on the back, holler Merry Christmas, and exchange $10 bills. <laughs> That's a fine Christmas spirit. Well, guess I better be getting back. I got lots to do yet. Oh, don't rush off, Commish. You just got here. You want to really take a rest. Oh? Sure. Why don't you come over and sit in the second barber chair for a few minutes? More comfortable. Well, just for a few minutes, maybe. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, this is better. Here, let me tilt it back for you. <laughs> no extra charge. There you are, all stretched out. Uh, this is nice. <laughs> Just close my eyes a minute. Can't stay long, though. Uh, gotta get my stopping done. <laughs> gotta get Leroy's. Commish, wake up. What you want? Uncle Bo? Commish. What's that? Where am I? Ooh, Floyd. Why, well, it's dark out. You slept a couple of hours, Commish. Time to close the shop. What? Let me out of here. I've got to get to Hogan Brothers before they close. Hey, just a minute, Commish. Huh? You owe me half a buck. What for? While you was asleep in the chair, I give you a shave. Floyd. <laughs> well, here you are. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Commish. <laughs> Haven't they found Bentley yet? Darn Floyd, letting me sleep like that. Lucky the store stays open till 7 o'clock tonight. Well, I better get Leroy's airplane first. Oh! Oh, uh, oh, pardon me. I didn't mean to bump into you, young lady. Oh, it was my fault. Uh, No, no, it was mine. I'm sorry. I'll hurry right back to my department. All right. Huh? I just went over to talk to a girlfriend of mine for a minute. She's in leather goods. I hope you don't mind. Why should I mind? Oh, aren't you a floor walker? No. I just didn't wear my hat. Oh, you see, I don't know much about the store. I haven't worked here very long. Uh, I'm Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve. I'm in charge of the water department. What floor is that on? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm the water commissioner of Summerfield, one of the uh, city officials. Oh, how do you do? I'm Miss Clark in sheet music. Uh, how do you do? I'm a music lover myself. <laughs> here I am talking to a city official. And I thought you were a floor walker. Well, I wouldn't mind being a floor walker on your floor. (laughs) (laughs) Well, uh, if you'll excuse me, sir, I'd better get back to sheet music. Uh, Miss Clark, uh, I'm on my way to the toy department. I'll walk over with you. It's right on my way. All right, sir. 
<laughs> I'm not sir. I'm Mr. Gildersleeve to you. <laughs> well, Mr. Gildersleeve, I've enjoyed our interesting talk. You have? Sure. So have I. <laughs> you know, they say you can always trust a man who likes music. Well, <laughs> I guess that's right. Uh, well, here's sheet music. Goodbye, Mr. Gildersleeve. Uh, Mr. Clark. Yes? As long as I'm here, I might as well look over some music. As long as I'm here. Oh, of course. Go right ahead. Yes, uh, let me see. Um... Uh, what kind of a song were you looking for? Well, um... Would you like me to play you a few? Uh, good idea. I'm glad you thought of it. All right. Uh, no, 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 not that one. Don't you have something a little more romantic? Would you like to hear my favorite? Yes, indeed, I would. Huh? La da dee dee. La La My, you have a wonderful voice. Well, some people have been known to like it. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. Of course, I never took any lessons. I'd love to hear you really sing sometime. Well, I might sing just one chorus. Uh, you mean now? Well, if you insist. I'll just sit here with you on the piano stool. Uh, well, I guess it's all right. I don't see the floor walker. <laughs> Who knows how much I love you? You do. No one means more to me than you do. You take December and smile it into May. And then December comes back again when you're away. Has a charm that very few do. Who makes life necessary? You do. And who can take my dreams and make my dreams come true? Don't give me three guesses. One will do. Oh, well, yeah. Look at all the people around. <laughs> Didn't know he had an audience. Guess I'd better be going. I saw. I saw. Well, they liked it, Mr. Gildersleeve. Oh, well, uh, just one more. My wild Irish rose, key G. My wild Irish rose. Gildy. <laughs> oh, hello, Judge. Mayor fire you, Gildy. That's your new job. We'll see you later, Miss Clark. Goodbye, Mr. Gildersleeve. Just a minute, Gildy. I'm in a hurry. Yes, so I noticed, Gildy. You haven't done any shopping yet. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Poor little Leroy. I'm going up there, Horace, right now. Well, these escalators are all right. Nice, comfortable ride. Yeah, third floor. Yeah, just one more, then I'll... Peavy! Yeah, hello, Mr. Gillespie. Oh. <laughs> What are you doing here? I'm uh, waiting for Mrs. Peavy. She's getting a beauty treatment over there. It's a sort of a Christmas present to me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's been in the beauty parlor all afternoon. Of course, it always takes a little longer with Mrs. Peavy. <laughs> <laughs> say, Peavy, while you're waiting, why don't you come up to the toy department? Help me pick out a model airplane for Leroy. Yeah, all right. Come on, we ride up on the escalator. Uh, if you don't mind, Mr. Gildersleeve, I- I'll take the stairway. What? I don't care much for escalators. Peavy, you're not afraid to ride on one, are you? Well, I... Everybody rides the escalator. Well, they can if they want to. It's just a moving stairway. I prefer a stairway that stands still and lets me do the moving. <laughs> But the escalator's faster. I'm in no hurry. Well, I am. Then you take the escalator. <laughs> Peavy, you're an old woman. I know. I wouldn't say that. 
Wait till I tell the Jolly Boys about this. Oh, you wouldn't do that. Oh, yes, I would. Oh, well. Hey, come good. on. Just put your foot on the step. The left one or the right one? Ye gods, Peavy. Either one. Now step on it. Mm-hmm. All right. Here, here you go. There. You made it. Yeah. Oh, well, we're moving. Mm. Not so bad, is it? You know, Mr. Gildersleeve, I kind of like it. Good. Come, Josephine, in my flying machine, and it's up we go. <laughs> Hey, this, this is very enjoyable. Well, here we are. Step off now. That was lots of fun. Let, let's go on up to the next floor. Huh? <laughs> I've got to get that airplane. Now, come on. Uh, what kind of airplane are you going to get, Leroy, Mr. I don't know. We'll kind of look them over. Oh, here we are. Oh, say, those are beauties. Yes, they are. May I help you? Oh, you. <laughs> yes. I want to buy one of these model airplanes, one with a gas motor for my little nephew. Very well. Now, this blue one here is one of our latest models. Oh, looks like a real airplane, all right. It's a high-speed fighter type. I'm sure your nephew would like it. Yeah, I guess he would. Very well. Shall I wrap it up? Yeah, looks good to me. What do you think, PB? Uh, well. Don't you like it? Yes, I like it. Well, what's the matter with it? Well, nothing, Mr. Gildersleeve, but if you don't mind my saying so, I prefer the red one over there. The red one. Here you are. Well, that's a nice one, too. It's a medium bomber. Boys love these. Oh. <laughs> I guess that'll be all right. Very well. Shall I wrap it up? Yes, it won't trouble you. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Gildersleeve. Huh? On second thought, I think Leroy might prefer the blue one. You do? The blue one, then? Well, of course, the red one has its point. Well, the blue one or the red one, Peavy? Which one do you think I ought to get? Uh, I don't know. Which one do you like? You've got me so mixed up, I don't know either. Well, I wish somebody would make up their mind. <laughs> Peavy, if you were Leroy, which one would you like? Uh, well, I'm not Leroy. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I'll make up my own mind. I'll take the red one. Clerk? Clerk, where are you going? I'm going home. The store is closed. But, Clerk, I've got to have that airplane. No sales after 7 o'clock. Those are the rules. But, Clerk, what am I going to tell Leroy? You can tell him the store is closed. He... <laughs> Fifteen days until Christmas, folks, and that means fifteen days jam-packed full of gay Yuletide activity. When friends make Christmas calls, be ready with a tray of crackers and K-Brand natural cheese. It's Kraft's latest triumph, and what a triumph. You see, K-Brand is a natural cheddar cheese with that warm, mellow flavor, that tender, meaty texture, but made from pasteurized milk. That's right, carefully pasteurized milk. And what's more, K-Brand has no rind because it ages right in its own spick-and-span wrapper. Every bit is usable for holiday feasting. Tomorrow, look for the big 10-pound bar at your dealer's. Have him cut you a portion, but be sure you see the words K-Brand Natural down the top and sides. Remember, this is the natural cheddar cheese made of pasteurized milk. The Great Gildersleeve is played by Harold Perry. It was written by Gene Stone and Jack Robinson with music by Jack Meekin. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Louise Erickson, Lillian Randolph, Earl Ross, and Richard Legrand. This is John Wald saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further Adventures of the Great Gildersleeve. And folks, when it comes to Christmas shopping, don't be a put-it-off. Be a do it now. <laughs> Good night. For you folks who like that old American favorite, macaroni and cheese, here's a good suggestion. Get Kraft Dinner from your food store tomorrow. With Kraft Dinner, you can make macaroni and cheese that's fluffy, light, and downright delicious in just seven minutes cooking time. All of the ingredients are in the package. Quick cooking macaroni and golden Kraft grated, enough to serve four people. They'll say that macaroni and cheese made with Kraft Dinner is grand. What's more, it costs only a few cents a serving. Look for the yellow and blue package, plainly marked Kraft Dinner. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.